फर्स्ट वर्किंग डे ऑन बोर्ड शिप और यू कैन से हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ फर्स्ट डे ऑन बोर्ड शिप वेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अच एंड एवरी थिंग अ प्रोसीजर अ ट्रेनिंग अच एंड एवरी थिंग विच एक्चुअली हैपन्स वेन एनी बडी ज्वाइंस अ शिप फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम गाइज ओके एंड गाइज I am promising you after watching this video you will have no doubt regarding a first working day on board ship but well guys before i start you have to promise me you will watch this video complete if you are a ship lover and i am promising you you will not regret spending your time on this video hey guys this is akshay kumar and welcome back to the new fresh video guys yes guys as you saw a topic and we talk about we are going to talk about a first working day on board ship okay well guys i still remember uh, the first moment i saw on uh, my ship a norwegian escape Oh here is Hugo Norwegian escape oh my god so big <laughs> Norwegian escape it was literally so huge guys and the moment i saw uh, my heart beat was like you know tak 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 and guys uh, no one no one crew member a uh, not even a single seafarer whenever they join their first ship they never forget the name of that and the moment that you remember when you saw your first ship for the first time and you entered in that ship first time so basically your dream comes true and it really a uh, really a uh, very peaceful amazing and guys i can say a most beautiful moment of my life the moment i entered into a norwegian escape and the moment i saw a norwegian escape literally guys you feel so relaxed and as well as you are excited as well what is going to happen inside okay well guys just to simplify this video i'm going to start this video the moment you enter or the moment you land in the usa okay so basically that is the place from where your journey begins okay so i'm going to talk each and everything point by point and i will explain you each and everything yes guys this video is going to be little bit longer but really very very informative and you will enjoy it i'm sure so let's get started so as soon as we land in the usa the first thing is going to happen is your immigration yes guys usa immigration is a first step which is going to take place in this video so guys the moment you land in the america okay the very first thing you will go for a usa immigration and trust me guys usa immigration line is really very very huge the moment your flight lands just be patient because your usa visa immigration is going to take at least of 2 hours and trust me guys a person uh, a seafarers who are joining a ship for the first time and who have entered a usa for the first time there is a special procedure let me tell you about that well after crossing a line the moment you will reach a counter and you will show your passport and visa to the counter officer they will see it so as you have traveled usa america on the basis of c1g visa so the counter officer they will ask you for your cdc you have to produce your cdc and the counter officer they will tell you to stay aside to stand aside trust me guys the moment this thing happened with me i was really really so nervous and i was really, really so scared because i was just like uh, so many people are coming they are just uh, taking a stamp and going and this guy told me to stand aside i thought there is something is wrong with my documentation or something else so i was just kind of waiting and then after some time one of the officer will come and they will take you to the inside they will take you a inside room where basically so many officers are sitting and they are processing a visas out there okay so guys uh, any person who is a seafarer and joining a ship in the america so guys you guys also have to go in that room so basically all the seamen all the people who are actually came to india to join the ship they have to go through a uh, that us visa counter which is inside so basically the moment you will enter at the counter they will tell you to wait and another officer will come and they will take you to the inside room and there your visa processing will take place okay the moment your visa is approved so basically guys now now in the usa for the seamen they do not put the stamp on the passport that is everything is computerized now so do not worry if something happens like that if you get the stamp well and good if you do not get the stamp don't worry okay they will tell you you are free okay so guys the moment you come out from the airport now here things depend depends on which cruise line you are joining okay in my case i have joined a norwegian cruise line so basically norwegian cruise line provides you each and everything your free tickets free hotel free shuttles and from the uh, hotel itself there will be another shuttle which will take you to the ship so basically guys at the moment we receive all the air tickets all the flight tickets with that we receive a one arrival letter which has all the information regarding our hotels and shuttles okay so if your company have provided your arrival letter so just go outside okay and look for the hotel name just check the arrival letter and there will be your hotel name and 
of that hotel there will be a shuttles which are standing outside or they just keep on coming okay so you can locate your shuttle and depending on the hotel name because the hotel name is always written a big big name is written on the shuttles always of that particular hotel so you can just stop them and you can go with them okay they are free of cost they do not charge anything but guys if your cruise line does not provide all these details so basically you have to take care of your own so you have to book your fl flights you have to book your own hotel you have to book your own shuttles or any prepaid taxi or you have to take care uh, from hotel to a ship but guys whenever you do all these things so make sure guys you have all the bills and all the receipts so basically the moment you will join a ship so so all the money will be reimbursed to you okay so don't worry here in my case i was provided i located the shuttle and i went to the hotel the moment you go to the hotel so basically you go to the reception you produce your joining letter and they already will have your name they will just cross check and they will give you two coupons which are free coupons of food of a dinner and of a breakfast okay and you can use that coupon to having your food so basically food is also free out there okay the moment night is spent there is a morning you get ready because morning early morning in the seven o'clock there will be a shuttle waiting outside for you so you wake up early have your breakfast get ready do check out from the hotel get into a shuttle and just head just head now to the ship okay and the moment you will see your ship you will be amazed so much of amaze i really enjoyed a very important point okay uh, well guys if you have missed your flight by mistake okay and uh, like suppose you are joining on the same day you have traveled in the america so there is always a arrival person so this is called a joining on arrival so basically if you have missed your flight so make sure you do contact your agency on the same time just to email them or if it is morning or night depending on the uh, area where you are okay just call them and inform them but guys there some of the case there is a, a joining on the arrival day on the same day so on that same day they will be a person at the airport who will be waiting for you with the name board uh, your name would be written out there and depending on the cruise line they will be uh, holding a one board as well of the cruise line so you can go to them and they will take you to the ship directly okay but this thing happens only when your joining is on the same day and this thing happens trust me okay the now from the hotel the shuttle will take you to the cruise terminal so basically uh, whatever cruise line you're joining to that terminal that shuttle person will take you automatically and that cruise terminal is so huge guys it is so so big they are because there is a terminals of different different cruise lines and trust me guys the ship is so big so definitely you can uh, imagine how big is going to be a terminal itself so this is why this thing happens and if you are traveling by yourself so make sure you go to your correct terminal and as soon as you see your terminal of your company you just can go inside there and you can ask them a security person from where section or from which section the crew inspection is going on or crew joining is going on okay in my case we were directly went to the norwegian cruise line and at the uh, other gate they were joining were going on of a crew members so there you deposit your bags to security and all of your documents should be in a separate bag and with that bag you go to the security checkpoint so now here things are going to take place let me explain you how now at the security checkpoint you will be asked for your passport very first thing then your indian cdc your medical and your joining letter okay this thing should be always guys in your uh, carry bag whatever you are carrying with you a small bag don't put your, all these documents into a luggage bag because your luggage bag is already went outside or even though if you put it so make sure you keep it with you put in the polythene and keep it with you okay because now the joining processes will start so there would be some people from the hr itself outside and they will take your medical and they will take your joining letter they will cross check with the names yes you are the same person who are joining they will take your passports and indian cdc and then you will proceed for a security checker you walk along with the security person and the security person will take you inside the ship the moment you enter into a ship again there is a security checkpoint so again there will be a scanning of you and of your all the documents of your watch and each and everything you have to remove they will go through a scanning procedure and then you will go out out means the inside of the ship after crossing a security area and the moment you will see your ship you will be amazed means like you will be so relaxed and peaceful and just enjoy the ship because ship looks so beautiful from the inside 
just wait out there and now one of the representative will come and they will take you any of the restaurant or maybe can into a escape theater or maybe can into any of the theater because there are always so many of people who are joining on the same day so processing all the documentation of the all the crew members at the HR office it is not possible that's why all the HR people and some safety officers and some papers from the safety they would be waiting for you already in the in one of the restaurant so there you'll be provided a so many of documentations like you will be given a safety book so first of all uh, they are safety book and the book regarding a IT procedure and the book regarding a ship okay so the, you will have a three uh, small small booklets which you can read later on and you will be given your ID card and you will be given your name badge yes guys don't worry the moment you join a ship each and everything is already ready out there everything is ready their safety officer or any of the assistant of the safety officer they will take your all the stcw courses just to verify them so they will take your stcw certificates and then hr will give you so many forms which you have to fill them and one of the form is going to be there your account opening from where your salary will come okay once all the hr procedure is done then hr will inform your head of the department okay and your head of the department will send any one of the manager or supervisor to take you and they will give you your joining kit and your joining kit will have these of the documents like your cabin details where is your cabin is okay your uniform requesting form there is a uniform requesting form already in the joining kit and then you will have your a duty reporting form which will have your duty timings written out there what time you need to report for a duty and the area okay then your department supervisor or manager they will take you to your cabin and they will show you your cabin so basically you can keep your luggage out there so in most of the time the luggage comes later on the whatever uh, stuff with you have you can take it there and guys the moment you will open your cabin each and everything will be there automatically your um, blanket your bed sheets your mattress your towels each and everything is already there because housekeeping persons they already make it and so they basically know already there are people who are going to join and these these uh, cabins are allotted to them so they make it ready already for you your cabin steward will make it ready don't worry at all okay now once you keep your stuff in the cabin now the representative will do a familiarization regarding your working area where you're going to work they will show you a place they will show you a crew mess they will show you a hospital and they will show you your crew laundry and the main laundry okay and they will show you the hr where you need to report again at the evening so by this time it is already guys around 12 o'clock in the afternoon now here representative will tell you to take a rest have your food and then have a rest after you have your lunch and so you take the rest again there will be a reporting guys okay. so in the joining kits itself there will be a one big letter there will be a one big uh, you can say paper where all the things are printed for the one week for the one week what time where in the ship you are going to have your trainings okay and trust me guys a person who is joining for the first time for the one week you have a trainings every day morning as well and in the evening as well okay so basically in these trainings uh, the ship familiarization is done and there are so many of topics and depending on the department you have joined so basically there are so many of rules and procedures hygiene hygiene procedures and they are uh, you know customer service procedures and, and how you communicate with the people so basically each and every training is given out there so for the next one week you will have a training again and again again and again and if you're joining for the first time on board ship okay and guys then on the same day there will be a familiarization of the end entire ship where one of the firefighter or the fireman they will uh, come along you guys okay because there are always so many people who are joining on the same day and they will show you all the ships means like they will show you all the fire zones out there because there are always four to five zones in the ship and they will tell you a tricks how you can recognize a ship means how you can learn more about a ship how you can how you can understand a ship very quickly because guys the ship is so huge and it looks same always on all the decks because guys trust me uh, for the one week i used to get lost in the ship because the norwegian scape is one of the biggest uh, ship they have norwegians and uh, guys it is so huge and i used to get lost out there for one week it took me one week to uh, you know learn about the ship and then after that i was quite normal once your familiarization is done guys okay in the your joining kit itself there will be a form about a uniform requesting form so you fill out your form as per your uh, sizes your pant size your shirt size whatever the uniform uh, is going to be they will tell you the laundry person so you can fill up your sizes and sign out there write your id number whatever your id uh, crew id number is there and they will give you your uniforms okay just some tips for you guys okay and if you are a person who are joining a ship for the first time trust me guys they are going to be a training guys for the one week at least and every day you will be doing a training in the morning in the evening but don't worry guys uh, whatever training and you have done and those timings means all those times will be added up into your 
working time okay so basically guys you are not going to uh, spend your time more than 10 hours in a day so basically like suppose you have spent four hours for the training so in the evening when you will report for a duty your manager already knows that so they will going to adapt that timing into your a uh, working hours okay so as soon as you complete your six hours you will be released again so don't worry guys uh, you will have enough time to take a rest and definitely for the first week it is going to be so many of things because you have joined a ship for the first time and it takes time to understand each and everything guys that's a human tendency it takes a time don't worry guys each and everything is going to be very perfect and i wish you a very good luck and i wish you a very good future okay so guys if you like this video hit the subscribe button press the bell icon do the all notification on so whenever i will upload a new again informative videos you will get a notification automatically on your phone okay if you found this video helpful please hit the like button it really motivates me to keep making such videos for you guys please do let me know in the comment section how was the video if you found something helpful please uh, tell me out there and if you want to ask me some personal questions so my instagram id link is given down in the description below you can follow me out there and you can send me your personal messages okay i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye